So, you think there's a crazy art? You do. So, you think there's a crazy artist within you, don't you? Guess what? There is. Somewhere deep down inside, wherever you're trying to hide it, there is a crazy artist waiting to be unleashed. How do I know that? Well, because I found it within myself. Okay, so how was that? Didn't really rehearse much. It was just like, you know what? We're just gonna have fun with the camera, have fun with the, the family. You guys are the family. Let's talk about how to unleash that crazy artist within you. Because listen, mommy, she's dying to come out. She's just been knocking on the door like, hello, girlfriend, sister, brother. Is it time? Still there? Come on. <sighs> okay. Now that we're sitting comfortably, let's talk about how we can actually and practically unleash that crazy artist within ourselves. The first and most obvious step of them all, the first step is to start creating. Now, I know that you have probably heard this time after time to the point where it's probably a bit annoying. The first thing you have to do is start creating. You can't be an artist if you don't create. I know, I know it's redundant, but we're gonna break it down we're gonna understand it fully because there is so much truth within that statement. You cannot be an artist, you cannot be a creator if you refuse to create. Now, we are fearful that if we start to create, it's not going to look the way we want it to. So whatever form of art, whether it's drawing, speaking, um, graphic design, illustration, video, whatever art form it is i think a lot of us don't create because we're afraid that when we do create it's gonna be kind of shitty and let me just tell you something the first time that you try to do something the first time that you put that pencil to paper it's gonna be shitty so maybe we should reframe how we look at things right practice makes perfect and that applies for anything and everything in life picasso did not just wake up being Picasso. Now, let me tell you something. I don't know why I said Picasso because to be honest, is he the one that drew the screaming face? Anyways, whoever it is that is your artistic idol, someone that you look up to artistically, they did not become that great at what they do overnight. Yes, there are some things that we are naturally talented at, but even when we do have a natural talent, it needs to be cultivated and practiced in order to be mastered. And so if you are not creating because you were afraid of the outcome, let me tell you, at some point you are going to have to get through that ugly phase, right? It's kind of like growing up when we're a teenager, we all kind of go through that ugly phase. For me, it was when I was like 12. I was just going through puberty, things, the proportions were not looking so great, you know what I mean? But eventually as I got older, I grew into my nose, I grew into my eyes, I grew into my shoulders, right? But I had to go through that ugly phase to get to where I am now. <laughs> and the same thing applies for your art, is you have to go through that ugly phase. And in that ugly phase, there is, oh, it is, in, it would, let's try that again. It's within that ugly phase that you are going to learn your style, that you are going to learn what you like and what you don't like. And so that ugly phase that you're so afraid of is where the most learning, the most oomph and juice is. And so, kind of shift your perspective and say, okay, I have an expectation that it's not going to be perfect. This is the trial, this is the practice run, but I know it's a part of the process. I know that this step is necessary for me to get to where I want to get to, right? You've got to do the sketch before you get to the final product. The sketch never looks like the final product, but where would you, the final product would not be what it is without the sketch. And so you've got to be willing to go through the process and the process is sometimes uncomfortable. Sometimes you're going to look at what you created and say, this ain't it. This one, trash. 
but even when you do trash it, I guarantee the process of creating that quote unquote trash taught you something. It showed you what you don't want or it showed you more of what you do want. And so embrace the starting point, embrace the starting point and know that you are going to get to a point where you look back and you're like, oh man, this is so nostalgic. Oh man, I love how, I love where I came from. So remember that in this phase, you aren't necessarily creating to create a masterpiece. You are simply creating to get in the rhythm, to build up flow and your style. And from there comes your masterpiece. From there comes your style and your groove, your steez. Okay, now that you've started creating, I need you to do it without guilt. For so many years, I thought that art and creativity was just for fun. And so every time I was creating, every time I would get in artistic flows, I would also feel this sense of guilt. I felt like my creativity or my art or my artistic side was taking away from my goals and my ambitions, right? As I've spoke about this in previous videos, I was more so headed down an academic route. I valued academics, I valued career outside of the arts. And so anytime I would dabble into the arts because I genuinely love it, I really do, um, I would feel so guilty. I would feel like I was playing. Like, you know when you're a kid and you have playtime and then you have homework time. Every time I would get creative and artistic, I felt like I was playing. I felt like I was in playtime when I should be in homework time. And so I associated art with something that would take away from my goals and my ambitions, that would take away from any type of success that I was trying to achieve. And so why I say that it's important to create without guilt is because that is where you truly allow yourself to play. And the best art comes from a state of play, a state of flow. And it's within those flow states, it's within those play states where we truly unleash do you ever listen to a poem or watch a movie and it is so deep or even listen to a song that is so deep and so well articulated that there is no other way that someone could have created that without being in a flow state or without being in a play state because it is so authentic and genuine. And so in order to get into those states and in order to create art from that space, a genuine and authentic space, you have to allow yourself to play. You have to allow yourself to indulge in the arts without guilt, right? Because what that guilt does is pull us. It's like a string that's pulling us, pulling us, pulling us, doesn't allow us to fully open up, doesn't allow us to fully unleash and so we aren't able to fully create as we we aren't we don't allow ourselves to fully expand our creativity that realm is kind of being shut down right and so unleashing your crazy artist is one starting to create and then creating without guilt that's where you find your your style as well right it's through practice but it's also through allowing yourself to to release and allowing yourself to unleash and pour it into your art, whatever it is that your art is. So don't be afraid to create. Know that your creativity is an outlet. Know that your creativity is a safe space. The art that you create is a safe space and know that whatever it is that you are feeling, if it is authentic and if it is genuine, I guarantee that there is other people that feel it as well and so it isn't corny, it isn't dorky, it isn't weird to create the things that you wanna create. Your art is a reflection of you and your soul and that is why it is so insanely special. So unleash yourself and allow yourself to go to that place of surrender and play and unleashing. You will thank me, you will thank me later, you will thank yourself later because it comes with so much freedom and it comes with a real big weight being lifted off of your shoulders. Okay, last but definitely not least, remember that success comes from mastery. It comes from developing a skill or a craft. That could be academic or that could be artistic. Whatever it is, master it. Now, 
this ties back into my relationship with creativity where I thought that it would take away from my success and my ambitions. But what I'm realizing now is that success comes in the form of mastery. And so whatever it is that you decide to master, whatever it is that you decide to pour your time and your energy into, that is where success comes from. And so the real trick and the real conflict is that you can be successful in anything, right? But it's your decision to decide what you're going to pour yourself into. What are you going to master? And so if you are in the creative field, know that your success is dependent on your mastery. And I don't say that to, to sort of put a pressure on you, but I sort of say that to inspire you that the more that you put time into your art or whatever it is that you're working towards, that is a step towards your success. That is a step towards mastering your specific craft, right? And I think where the issue comes in is where we start comparing our mastery versus someone else's mastery. And that's where we kind of start looking behind to see how far we've come, right? No, none of that. Like it, all that does is slow you down. Your success is dependent on your mastery. And so you really have to look back on your own journey. It's okay to look back, but make, but look back on your journey. Look back on where you came from and where you started, all that you've learned and all that you've applied, right? That is where success is. And so, and so go out and create and know that whatever you put yourself into fully, if it's purposeful, if it's intentional, I have the faith and I have the belief that eventually it will pay off, right? Just make sure your intentions are pure, make sure you are headed in the right direction and eventually it will pay off. Eventually, things will start to make sense and um, success will follow. Success always follows, it always does. You know, maybe not on the time that we want it to, but success always follows. And so have faith, keep going, unleash that crazy, that crazy artist within you. Don't be afraid of her. Don't be afraid of her or him. Don't be afraid of her or him. They're in there and they're a part of you and they want to be seen just like every other part of ourself wants to be seen. And so give it an opportunity, give it an opportunity to be seen and shown and I guarantee you the world will love it. It's you, it's who you are and so don't be afraid. Anyways, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you are someone who is now gonna go and get out the sketchboard or get out the iPad or get out the camera to go film or whatever, definitely tag me in some of the things that you create. I am curious. I am excited for the journey that you're about to embark on. So don't forget to show me. Don't forget to tag me. Um, and yeah, that is it for this video. I am rambling right now, but thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Um, and I will catch you guys in another video. Have a blessed, blessed, blessed day or have a blessed, blessed, blessed evening. I will see you guys later. Peace and love, baby. Yeah.